Friday night soccer in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, as one of the best teams in the country, Pitt at eight and one in town, to take on the North Carolina Tar Heels, Dorrance Field, Chapel Hill, ACC men's soccer right here on ACC Network Extra. Start with our visitors from Pitt. They are indeed explosive. Noel with the eight goals, but the man right behind him in the midfield, Petkovic has five. Like you said, Dean, explosive is the way to describe it. And the starting lineup for Carlos Samuano's Tar Heels. Lucas Del Rosario, the veteran, perhaps he's the spark that Carolina needs offensively. A flat 4-4-2 this time around for Carlos Samuano and the North Carolina. Delighted to be with you here on a Friday night for ACC men's soccer and the Tar Heels with the first kick. North Carolina's last, any loss at Dorrance Field is a disappointment for North Carolina. And yeah, the Tar Heels want to make this venue a fortress, beautiful facility that opened prior to the 2019 season. Always disappointing to let a non-conference opponent come in here and earn such a narrow victory like that one nothing win for the Flames. This pit team under the direction of Jay Vidovich has been quite effectively and Jay Vidovich has pit on the brink of something amazing here in his fifth season. A remarkable turnaround of a program, Dean. I think it's fair to say that Pitt was a program that was a, a doormat in the ACC when they joined the conference, but Jay Vidovich had them off to the best start in school history this year at 7-0, has them at 8-1, got them to the ACC Tournament Championship game, and this is all one year after taking Pitt to the NCAA Tournament for the first time since 1965. And on the other bench, Carlos Samuano, who is one of only two rookies, the best as far as winning percentage in his 10 uber successful years at North Carolina. This year is one that Carlos Samuano has admitted they always had one or two showstoppers, as he's called it. This year, they're still looking for that showstopper. In tech last year, that's one that comes to mind for Pineda. Over the top, part of Pitt's flair is international. We'll get to that in a moment as this team is upwards near 75% international. They've got a lot of international flair, the kind of flair where you've got to do an extra special rundown with the SID is we certainly want to thank Nick McDonald for spending some extra time with us. Samuano coming off the last game as Mark Salas moves back to right back as opposed to right center back just flips with Riley Thomas who had a decent run at right back but this will allow Salas to move forward a little bit more and support Luke today a beautiful facility named for John Peterson a Pitt alum former CEO of the Erie Insurance Group and he and his wife Gertrude donated a lot of money to help make that happen for Pitt it is beautiful North Carolina on the tack right down the middle and that back line is ready as the Spaniard, Nico Campuzano, who's got a 1.31 goals against average, 32 saves, eight for North Carolina. Break it down, Matt. Yeah, that top one speaks to what just happened for the Tar Heels. Finishing in the final third, Carolina's been able to get pressure offensively throughout the season, but just unable to have that final run or that final pass to be able to find the back of that. We'll see if they've got it here. Jimenez. And this one definitely belonging to the Tar Heels, but finishing up that keys concept for Carolina when Pitt is able to mount an attack. The Tar Heels need to play. You know, it's deeper in the midfield, but I like the touches he's had. He even had a shot, wasn't able to get over the ball. That's a good touch by Jimenez into the 18, creating his own space, and there it is. The Tar Heels have scored. One nothing, North Carolina. And an unassisted goal too, Dean. Watch this. What a touch to get it up in the air around his defender. Dribbles through two more. And he's able to draw the keeper, Campathano, over toward the right side of the cage. Watch this. An exquisite last touch to get it past Campathano. Terrific foot control for Jimenez in his first goal of the season. Carlos Samuano asking for a showstopper, somebody that can create something on their own. That's exactly what the sophomore from Connecticut just did right there in North Carolina. Has scored 1-0. I think a key word there, Dean, is sophomore. Carlos Samuano searching for a showstopper. 
you would hope if you're a Carolina fan or Coach Samuano that it's going to be one of the younger players, you know, someone that's stepped for Jay Vidovich, pretty impressive. In fact, Carson Porter was part of the staff when Wake Forest won that national championship in 2007 down the street at Wake Med Soccer Park. So Grant Porter, Carson Porter's brother, and Grant, of course, won a championship. His ability, whether he's got to get low or high, he's a big time goalkeeper. A terrific goalkeeper for the Tar Heels. Junior from Greensboro, home state product. 21 saves on the season in the country. You mentioned internationally as you've got a Spaniard in goal, German, and they were hoping some of these changes were gonna work. And I think they've been working. They've got one goal, but they've been dangerous a couple other times as well. They had the shot from Montes Diaca before that initial goal from Jimenez deeper into this first half. But when you, you think about Carolina offensively this season, Dean, this is game number nine for the Tar Heels. They have scored in, a in their time. Ordonia is the sophomore from Spain, one goal and two assists. This back line is impressive. When you think about Jasper Lafelzen, among that Carlos Samuano admitted it's been tough. They had three players drafted and one player, Matt Constant, decided that he was going to turn pro, and they really do miss him as attacking down one of those Dallas, Texas natives coming to Carolina and drafted into Major League Soccer and opting to sign and begin the professional career now, which is a situation that some players are having to navigate with the college soccer season pushed into the spring this year. You know, typically in a normal season, you're done. The college cups in mid-December, super draft in January, and you head your training camp in February, kick things off as a pro in March. But that's an added layer for some of these teams in this unique season. Well, and that story will set it in the history books, in the record books, as the 2020 ACC Men's Soccer Tournament champions. They'll keep the trophy, but they don't win the automatic bid. So the automatic bid. However, if Clemson happens to be the Atlantic Division champion, that April 13th match won't be played. The Coastal Division champ will simply play Clemson on the 17th. Phenomenal job breaking that down. I did ask Carlos Samuano today that based on what they know about Pitt, if in fact they were going to let Pitt keep possession. Panthers from being able to build through the middle of the field and they're having to send those balls deep and it's led to some inaccurate passes. Turnover here for North Carolina. They've been pretty clean up until this point. Sliding tackle coming over. Pitt, they've all played a lot of minutes throughout the year. They've been able to keep a pretty consistent lineup back there. Taken away by North Carolina. Two names that have been noticeably absent for Pitt is Velko Petkovic. Five and build the offense in that way as Carolina brings in the old hockey line change here. But Pitt's having to go over the top with the for North Carolina. Of course, it's not new for the North Carolina women's team, but for the men's team, they have not been afraid to go 20 deep. I asked Carlos about that today, and it's a matter of finding a little magic and also Carolina. That was part of that be courageous model from Jay Vidovich to change that narrative. But as the final seconds count down, Smur outside the 18, the clearance is there. Jonathan Jimenez with the goal, and it's North Carolina one, Pittsburgh zero. Show you this brilliant goal. Well, Dean, this begins with a great cross deep from Riley Thomas. He moved from the outside back spot to the center back spot, and he's able to serve it to Jimenez, and Jimenez simply does the rest. First, he's got a one-on-one -on -one matchup with a veteran outside back. Then he draws three defenders, and it's that adjustment there. You see the keeper in Campathano. He's working toward that far post, but he adjusts just too late. Trying to make it tough and Pickering, the midfielder, number four in blue, coming up to challenge as well. There's Shells with Pickering, and Shells should get credit right there as he knocked the pit player away from the ball, and then Pickering cleans it up. North Carolina on the attack, down near the end line, a sitter and in! Montez Diaca! Second of the season for Montez Diaca, and it begins with Tim Shells, the freshman. Back to Jimenez along the flank. Patience gets the well-timed cross. Beautiful run for Montes Diaca. And then Campothano can't handle it at the end. One, two, three. Shells, Jimenez, Montes Diaca, and the Tar Heels have doubled the lead. Dean, they.